Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create report in E3D. I will be using the search function to create reports. The search function is found in the Home tab. When you start the search function, there are two inputs, the element type and the search scope. So for example, we want to look at all the equipment. So what we need to do is to type the element type into the element type. Then you can search the current element or whatever element that you choose. Next, we look at the search tools in the search function. You can expand it by clicking the more search tools. First one I'd like to show you is the filter. You can use PML1 expression to actually filter your search. Here I'm using the match var which will match the name with whatever var card string that you can put in. I'm going to say that we are only interested in equipment that starts with P. So I use a PS3 to actually filter my equipment. Next, the search scope besides being in the hierarchy, you can filter it with volume and also the modification information. The Manage Searches allow us to store the search settings that we have configured. Let's save our search as Pump Search. And we can save this report in various places, local settings, project settings, or the installation setting. So you can run the search by clicking the search on the top or you can run it from the Manage Search. So you can see that the pumps have been extracted from our 3D model. Next, we'll look at the Collection form. This allows us to further develop the search information that we've extracted. Well, there's really too little equipment. So let's take away the filter and do a search again. This time, we will extract all the equipment from the hierarchy. Using the column setup, we can set up the columns in our collection. We can add all the standard attributes and decide which are the ones we need and which are the ones we do not need. Perhaps we are interested in displaying the owner but not the rest of the attribute. So let's remove the rest of the attributes or put them invisible. For this case, I remove them. And when we say OK, you can see that the third column appear in the collection table. Let's do more column set. So instead of the owner, we are interested in the name of the site. So we can do this and we know the name of the site is the area where this is being found. We can add more columns, for example, the position. There you have it, our new table. Let's see what else we can do with the table. We can export them to Excel or we can start a quick report and 
before this video, I actually prepare a simple header for our report. So, the system will use the header with the results that we have. And now we can export them into an Excel file that we can send to our customers. Let's see how the Excel file looks like. There you have it, our simple Excel report. Is it easy to create a report in E3D? Hope you like it. See you again next time. Bye.